All right, you guys, today's video, it's not what I had planned for this upload, um, but I'm gonna show you guys how I actually ended up beating dinos in my 20 gallon budget reef tank in only 48 hours. And here's a hint, definitely had to do with this UV sterilizer here, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get into uh, kind of what happened and kind of, um, we're gonna go back to the future here a little bit and uh, I'm gonna explain everything of what happened and also like the first couple clips um, are just a voiceover, so kind of the clips might not match perfectly to what I'm saying, but you guys will get the overall picture. Let's go ahead. Let's get into how I beat dinos in 48 hours, guys. Also, a quick disclaimer. No, the UV sterilizer is not going to be there permanently. I might just leave it in for a couple extra days just to make sure that all the dinos are out of the tank. But again, don't worry. That will be gone in future videos, of course. But yeah, I just want to make sure because you never know with dinos, but I'm hoping right now. As you can tell, the tank looks pretty crystal clear as far as the sand bed, and um, I checked all the rocks and everything. It all looks good, but yep, let's continue on with the video. So as you guys can see from this video, you guys can see that I do have a new light on the tank, and I was actually planning for this video to be a review on this light. But unfortunately, guys, literally the same time that I installed this new light, I got dinos, which is a like photosynthetic bacteria. So the fact that this light came um at this time and it's like just more strong and a lot better it actually amplified the growth of the dinos which is funny so um a review on this light will be coming next video but for now let's focus on how i got rid of these dinos so as you guys can see um dinos are they are a bacteria and basically um i noticed over time that i was starting to get this brown dusting on my sand bed and i thought to be honest I totally thought it was going to be a diatom bloom. Um, so I kind of cut back on the feeding, cut back on the feeding. And, uh, you know, it kept coming. And it, it as it started to develop, I noticed it was kind of looking a little slimy. Um, had some, like, bubbles coming out the top of the slime. And I did some research. And uh, sure enough, it was it looked a lot like dinos. And a common cause of dinos is no nutrients or not enough nutrients in the tank. And, you know, since I had a, di I thought I had a diatom bloom, I really cut back on the nutrients. And if you guys have been following my channel, you know, I kind of have built my system around, you know, minimal feeding, minimal lighting. So this kind of checks out and this is kind of where the minimum nutrients, it's been good in the long run, but, um, you can definitely run into this wall of dinos and dinos can suck big time if you don't catch them early enough. And I'm hoping that I caught them uh, early enough here. But yeah, so I ended up testing my water. I'll throw a picture of that up now. And basically what came back to my surprise was I had zero or almost zero traceable nitrates in the tank. Zero PPM is what was coming back. So at that point, you know, I thought maybe since I added more fish in my tank recently that maybe I was having a lot of extra nutrients. And you'll even hear me say that in a previous video that I was balancing, um, you know, extra nutrients. But in fact... It was the opposite. I don't think I had enough nutrients in the tank and the diatoms were just, or sorry, not the diatoms, the uh, dinos were starting to build up and ramp up. So that kind of, that kind of, um, you know, is a, a good reason why you should always test your water regularly just to make sure that you have everything in check. So the fact that I bottomed out my tank with nutrients, my water was almost too clean and I got this bacteria that outcompeted my beneficial bacteria and other algaes. And then I ended up with this problem and it made my tank look ugly and basically closed all the corals up. So when I got my new my new uh, light, the corals were all closed. Nothing looked good. It looked ugly. So that's why I had to treat the dinos before I made my light video. So as of right now, what am I doing to fight the dinos? Well, as you guys can see from the video, I have the UV sterilizer on here now. It is the green killing machine. I think it's like 50 gallons per hour. Um, so I noticed that this particular or this particular type of dinos uh, seems to go air or not airborne, waterborne, I guess you could say. It goes in the water column when the lights turn off. So when I wake up in the morning um, and the lights have been off for a while, it appears that a tank appears to be clean. And then when I come back from work during the day and the lights come on for a little bit, all the dinos come back to the sand bed. So I figured... Um, that I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get a UV sterilizer to clean the water column. And um, that's exactly what I did. I threw in this UV sterilizer that I had 
And as you guys will see in a couple minutes, uh, that actually helped a ton. As well as I started feeding extra, started feeding more to try to get my nutrients up. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to uh, fast forward a little bit into the future here so we can get a little update of how everything's going. So guys, let me give you a little update on the dino outbreak. So it has been approximately maybe like 16 hours since I added this um, UV sterilizer. So I basically added it last night and it is the next day about in the afternoon uh, around four o'clock. So it's been about, yeah, like 16, 18 hours maybe. And as you guys can see, the front of the sand bed here looks a million times better. I mean, you can even still see like there's a little bit of dinos over there. And then in the back, there's a good bit of dinos. Maybe I can like stir that up, but um, it definitely looks a lot better. And I know fighting dinos can be very scary, but I think I caught mine, uh, my little outbreak kind of early. And luckily for me, things are going well, fingers crossed, not even been 24 hours yet. And the tank already looks um, visual, visually noticeably better. Um, I'm also feeding more, trying to get my nutrients up because that is the whole reason why um, I believe my tank crashed was I didn't really have any traceable nitrates at all. But the only bummer is, as you guys can see, um, my coral, my Duncan coral still looks mad. My anemones have not opened up yet. Um, the Xenia looks like it's like withered away. And uh, the GSP, um, it's been having trouble for a while, so don't really worry about that. But um, the mushrooms, they look decent, but not not great for sure. So we're just going to keep monitoring this, guys. I'm going to give you guys an update. Um, but, yeah, so far, guys, I think um, this is like the green killing machine. Uh, this is a 50-gallon per hour, something like that. Um, and this is a 20-gallon tank. So um, this, as a remedy, I think it was like $60 at Petco. Um, you know, like I'm, I wasn't going to play around with any chemicals or anything. I went straight to the big guns. Um, and I, I probably mentioned it earlier in this video, but I noticed – that my dinos were going away at night. Going into the water column is what they were doing. They'd go away at night. I'd wake up in the morning. The sand bed would be almost clear. And then I'd come home, turn the light on, and uh, they'd be back on the sand bed. So I knew that, uh, you know, the dinos were um, in the water column. So that's why um, for this particular um, treatment of dinos, I went with the UV sterilizer um, and not with some chemical. So hopefully um, this keeps working. And, um, yeah, I'll give you guys another update, um, shortly. So guys, here we are. This is day two. It's a little less than 48 hours later, but I am happy to report that, um, this UV sterilizer has absolutely put in work. And if you look at the tank, just from, you know, the appearance, it looks like it's pretty much been beaten at this point, guys. Um, you know, I turned my light completely off for 24 hours. And um, as you guys can see here, the sand bed looks pretty, pretty clear here. There's no like slime on the surface or anything. Um, and yeah, as you guys can see, like I even have like a little bit of algae, green algae growing back. Um, I've been, you know, absolutely feeding the tank a ton, trying to get my nitrates up. So I wouldn't be surprised if I had a bunch of algae start blooming up. Um, but that would actually be, you know, a good case scenario considering... You know, dinos can be an extremely long, hard-fought battle and even causes people to close their tanks down, which is, you know, obviously the worst-case scenario. Um, but since the lights were off for so long, um, I think it's going to take a while probably for my corals to kind of come out here. As you guys can see, the anemones are even kind of opening up a little bit here. The mushrooms look better. The xenia definitely looks like it's, like, melted away, but who knows? Maybe it'll come back and then the GSP... To be honest, probably is a lost cause, but it started, you know, dying out before the uh, dino outbreak even started. But yeah, guys, honestly, it's been 48 hours and I, so far. I would say it's a success. I mean, the lights are coming back on here and uh, the tank has not looked this cleared. I mean, I would say it's almost spotless. Um, I know dinos can kind of, uh, you know, flare back up, but hopefully for now it's uh, subdued and... Yeah, guys, I think the tank looks literally a million times better than what it did at the beginning of this video um, with all the slime and everything all over the sand and uh, covering the corals. So I think it looks a lot better. Let me know what you guys think. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me um, kind of fighting dinos. I think I caught it early enough to where 
Um, the UV sterilizer was, you know, a good enough solution as well as feeding a little bit more. Um, I would say something that is important is if you can catch your dinos early, that's great. Don't make the same mistake I did and think it was diatoms and let it slowly take over because that is not what you want to do. You definitely want to um, examine it first. And if you can examine it quickly, that is most important. I think the I ideal thing to do is buy like a cheap uh, microscope for like $10, $15 and actually take, um, you know, look at it on a microscopic level to, to know for sure what kind of dinos it is. Because it might not even be the type of dinos that you could cure with a UV sterilizer. I think I just got lucky. But um, yeah, guys, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll be monitoring this tank closely for you guys over the next couple of days and of course i want to get my light review out so that'll be coming out soon um as long as the tank of course obviously stays the way it's been going trending towards the uh, positive direction and uh, hopefully the corals open up and they're not too irritated for long but yeah guys like i said hope you guys enjoyed this video this was obviously not a planned video but um you know sometimes things just pop up things happen and you know we just kind of roll with it so um yeah with that being said hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time for another video. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.